everyone, I'm Carrie, and this is my husband Reed, and we live in Hawaii. Today we are headed out to the west side to visit a local and organic grocery store on island for the first time. Join us! So today we are on the west side. We drove to Kamakana Ali'i, which is uh, the shopping center in Kapolei. And we are checking out Foodland Farms in Kapolei for the first time. We have one by our house, but we heard that this is the biggest one. It's been open now for about eight months. And we're just excited. Uh, we're gonna take out food from the restaurant. And we're looking forward to just a great grocery shopping ex experience. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. So if you're watching this and you're not from Hawaii, Foodland is Hawaii's largest locally owned and operated grocery retailer on island and it has been locally owned since 1948. Most recently though, Foodland has opened Foodland Farms which focuses more on organic and local produce from around the island. We stopped off at Foodland Farms in Kapolei and we decided to take uh, our food um, out of the restaurant. We took out food from Mahi Ai Table, which is Foodland's first in-store dining facility on island. And it's an actual restaurant with a bar and uh, indoor seating. Mm -hmm. uh, because of everything and safety measures, we didn't feel like we wanted to eat inside. So we came to the safety of our, of our car <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do fine dining in the car. So anyway, what did you get? I got um, the salmon salad. So it looks really, really nice. I'll take off the cover. And I have the fish and chips. You can see the fish and chips. But this one is really nice. It, it comes with like salmon, it comes with boiled egg. It comes with some avocado, some feta cheese. Uh, and it just looks really, really delicious. This is very good. We've had fish and chips at other places. Mm -hmm. The last place we went to was Seattle and definitely fish and chips there are fresh. Mm -hmm. But um, we'll see, we'll dig into this. So pretty good size pieces of fish. It's beer battered. My salmon, it has furikake on it. It's very good and it's a very, very big portion of fish, which is really nice. You can see not a whole lot of fish in there. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, a lot of lot more batter. Usually, um, fish and chips. If it's not fresh fish, they're usually using some other type of fish, like cod, um, something cheaper. They're definitely not using mahi mahi or opaka paka or anything like that to make your fish and chips here. Mm. You get what you pay for, and I guess for a food lamb, it's pretty good. Pretty good food for a food lab. Prices uh, for both our meals, it was about $34 uh, for both of ours. I think curry salad was almost as much as uh, fish and chips entree. Some avocado. Mm -hmm. Wanna try my salad? No, thank you. So after this, we're gonna go back into Foodland and we really um, wanted to try the calabash meals. I always wanted to try them. Um, because they're like homemade, or not homemade, but they are they are freshly prepared meals that already come ready to cook. So we're gonna see what they have available and we're gonna try them and we will take you along and uh, let us know if you've tried the calabash meals before and what was your favorite meal because I know that they change them quite frequently. So it's never the same meal that you get when you go like, if, you, if you've gone before, it's probably different meals now, so for that and just to get our groceries and we'll see you guys later. When you visit Foodland Farms, there is an array of ready prepared meals and snacks. One of our favorites is to get poke bowls for lunch once in a while. Also, 
example, according to the Fulan Farms website, this location at Kamakana Ali'i has the largest selection of organic groceries and local Hawaii-grown, raised and made products and ingredients. everyone so today we are going to be making the calabash meals that we bought at Foodland Farms the other day our first dish is the pulehu steak with spicy sambal hamakua mushrooms and it says that it's for two servings and it only takes 15 minutes so we're gonna try this we'll open this up in a little bit and then the second one is sheet pan roasted veggies and this one says it takes 20 minutes to make and it also serves two people so it says aside from this, we're going to need salt and pepper and olive oil and a large non-stick frying pan. And this meal at Foodland, this specific one, this main dish was, I believe, $17.99 for two people. So, do you feel like that's a good deal? Not really. <laughs> this calabash box comes with hamakua mushrooms. These are large fungi. Comes Big with fun guy. Yeah, I'm a fun guy. Comes with a shallot, uh, a, a whole lime, yeah. parsley, uh, the steak, which I won't take out. It's on the bottom. The pulehu spice, which is this, and then the spicy sambal butter. So the first thing we're supposed to do is wash and dry the produce. I'm surprised that it didn't come already washed since it's coming in an already prepped box, but that's okay. We'll wash and dry the produce. Okay, first thing we're supposed to do is cut these hamakua mushrooms in half lengthwise. So after we do that, then the next thing we're supposed to do is cut the shallot. So just chop off the end here. And it says to cut in half and then peel. So we'll just dice it. Next we're going to quarter, quarter the lime and then we're going to juice the two quarters. The next thing we're supposed to do is take the steak out, pat it dry, and then heat a pan over medium to high heat. So we're gonna put this paper towel down and we're gonna pat these babies dry. It's uh, good enough for two people. Usually steaks you wanna cook at room temperature. So it's a good thing these have been sitting out for a little bit. We're gonna place the steaks in the pan and cook to the desired doneness, or at least two minutes per side. We have to rub this pulehu spice on both sides of the steak before we throw it into the pan. Okay, so the second part of this is after this is done, we're gonna throw the vegetables in here with the sambal butter and some salt and pepper, and we're gonna um, cook those vegetables into this, and then uh, take the steak out and drizzle the vegetables with the sauce over it. Put this on medium. In the same pan, it says, we're going to add a little bit more olive oil. Okay, let this thing heat up, and then we're gonna throw in the shallots. Hot. We're going to add in the mushrooms. It says to cook the mushrooms until they are golden brown. It says to add the samba sauce. And a 
little bit of salt. And uh, a little bit of pepper. Okay, and we'll shut this off because it's not supposed to cook that long. Okay, so now that that's done, now we can throw on some of the parsley. Now all we have to do is dribble this sauce, the mushrooms, on top of the steak. Garnish with a couple of limes and we're good. Here, so Mom. the next thing we're going to make yeah, is a sheet pan roasted vegetable dish. Yeah, this one too. And the first thing we have to do is preheat the oven to 375. Can you say 375? Yeah, you said 37. Good job, 375. And once it gets up to there, we're gonna throw these vegetables. It's this is easy. We're gonna throw these vegetables on a sheet pan, and then uh, we're gonna sprinkle it with some olive oil and put it into the oven. Then when it comes out, we're gonna salt it, and then we're gonna have roasted vegetables. Yeah. So in this are Brussels sprouts, garlic, basil, Italian parsley, parsnip. Never had parsnip. Red onion. Butternut squash, yellow bell pepper, mini tomatoes, and, and a herb vinaigrette. Okay, so the instructions are to spread the vegetables out amongst a large, uh, large baking pan. So a very colorful array of vegetables. A lot of these that I've never cared to eat. So here's some garlic. And it says to put the garlic whole on here, so we'll just spread out the whole garlic. And after that, this is the herb vinaigrette. So we are to season uh, and spread the herb vinaigrette on the vegetables. My wife says to shake it. Okay, so we'll spread it out. Make sure there's even love for all the vegetables. Okay, so now the oven's at 375, we're gonna throw this in. Okay, it says to bake 18 to 20 minutes, so we'll put it for 19. Usually this is for a meal for two, but we are here at my parents again um, for a night of dinner. So we're sharing the steak and the vegetables with everybody. But we just wanted to try it for you and, and let you know how it tastes. So here it goes. Here we go. Mm. What do you think? Steak is a good piece of steak. What cut is it? I don't know. But steak is good. Probably could use a little bit more of the sauce. Yeah, though. I think it could use a little bit more of the flavor. That pulehu flavor that it comes with. The, I really like the mushrooms. The mushrooms are really good. I mean, so it has a little bit of spice, which is nice. How would you describe the pulehu flavor? It's a little spicy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit spicy, but um, it really make, brings out like that flavor of the steak, which is really nice. So for $17 and for two people, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. Not a bad meal. Not a bad meal, and um, everything is proportioned out for you, so it, it's really nice. So. Next, we're gonna try the veggies. Longer, I mean, you could, but. I smell pepper. It's flavor. I think I could use more salt. Yeah. These um, roasted vegetables, I think we forgot to mention. I wanna say the price was like seven, $7.50, $7.99 around there. So for about, about $25, you're getting your vegetables and you're getting the meat. All right, thank you again so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed coming with us to Foodland at Kamakana Ali and just uh, enjoyed seeing what we got and what we ate and trying out the calabash meals. LNS, like and subscribe. If you, if you like these videos and want to support our channel, then please like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. And we just did a mini heart and a peace sign. See you in the next one.
everyone. <laughs> Why are you hitting me? I don't know. Mm -hmm. To give it with the um to, with the mushroom too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Try eat it. <laughs> hey, Michael, what are you eating? Corn. Corn. And what else? Or just going to eat. Wow! Good job. Oh, good job! She's told me good job. Can you eat with your fork? Let me see. Wow! See you guys next time. Mommy, Mama.